Hi friends, I pray you're well. Today is Wednesday, the 10th of June, it's 2020. I'm really glad to see you. My name is Will Davis Jr. I'm the senior pastor of Austin Christian Fellowship in Austin, Texas, and this is your ACF devotional and also an ACF update. Um, I wanna thank you for the response you've given us to the video we produced over the weekend with my friend Sherwin Patton and Bishop Wilkerson and Galen Clark and Rick Randall from APD. Um, if you've not seen that, it's on our website. It's called A Conversation About Racism. I have very little role in it, and it's just these three African-American leaders and Rick as an Anglo leader talking about the response to what's going on in our world right now. And you have been extremely gracious and um, encouraging in your responses on our website, on social media, et cetera. And I'm really proud of you for that. Um, friends, we are living in, don't, don't miss what you're living through. Please don't be so distracted right now that you don't see what's going on. We're living through not one, but two unprecedented worldwide events. COVID shut the world down. For the first time in history, we've seen that. We're living through two unprecedented world events don't miss that and obviously we as a church cannot be silent when these kind of things are going on especially when they have such clear biblical overtones so we're going to continue this weekend the conversation about racism um, we'll probably continue it for a few weeks um, i don't really know yet but we're not done and so many of you have been so gracious in saying okay so what do we do and that's what we want to do. We want to go do. And um, we're going to get to the do. But I think we have some probing still to do. Before we just start saying we're going to write a check or ask you to do a serving event, this is perhaps bigger than that. And so um, I'm going to teach this weekend about some of the systemic racism in Scripture and how Jesus dealt with it. And um, we'll go from there. I've got several things I think I might want to say in the coming weeks, but we'll just wait and see. But I will be continuing the conversation this weekend teaching about some racism as it's stated in scripture and ask you to take a good hard look in your own heart as I do with mine. Uh, we're going to bring back ask any question a week from today, uh, the first, the next Wednesday in June, whatever the day, the day is from a week from today, I guess it's the 17th, today's the 10th. And my friend um, Daryl Horton, who's the associate pastor of Mount Zion Church, Daryl's a wonderful African-American friend of mine who is going to join me on that class. So we're going to bring back Ask Any Question in a week and let you call in on Zoom or on Facebook, send the comments in for Daryl and myself, and we're going to have a conversation live about racism. Um, we'll stay tuned for that. But anyway, I just want to thank you for being alert during these times. I ask you to be praying. There are a lot of people with heavy hearts out there. Um, there's a lot of people asking questions like, what about the riots and what about the violence? What about all that stuff? And we'll, we'll talk about some of that. I think there are two things going on and, and the riots are one of the things and they're not good. The protests are good, but this, the violence and the stuff that's gone with the protests, that's a whole different animal and that's not okay. We'll talk about it. Anyway, um, I'm proud of you. Uh, stay tuned for more. Um, please continue to have your conversations about this. Their con a friend of mine told me that they had a 90-minute conversation at their dinner table after the message this past weekend. Yay, God. That's progress. That's progress. Get your kids involved. Get your friends over. Have watch parties. I'm going to say some things this weekend. I promise it will stimulate a lot of conversation. Also, give each other a lot of grace right now. This is a tough time, and people are emotional, and this is pushing buttons that none of us like to have pushed, and we're living through crazy times, so people are a little short anyway and a little edge. Give people grace. Please give people grace. Um, folks are hurting, and give them permission to not be okay. I love you, and I um, look forward to sharing with you tomorrow and this weekend, and I'll see you soon.